Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem that I found in an admission test. The pattern is made from four identical rectangles. We can see the rectangles here, 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 and here. The sides of the rectangles are parallel to the axis. So these sides here and here are all parallel to the y-axis, and this side here and these here and here are all parallel to the x-axis. Work out the coordinates of C. Here is our point C. We don't know the coordinates yet. We know the coordinates of point A and of point B. Okay, how can we find these coordinates? I want to find the coordinates of point C. So let's start with the X coordinate. Well, here, this coordinate, I would like to know this. So here from my point, I can go down. I need to know where I am here on the X axis to find this X coordinate. We could start at point A, because here at this point, we know that the X coordinate is three. And how get, can I get from here to here? Well, I can all just walk along this path here, and this is the length of the side of the rectangle. We don't know how long this side is, but let's give it a name. Let's call the length of the long side L for long. And we would start at 3, add L to get to this point here. So here we are at 3 plus L. This is the X coordinate of my point C. We don't know yet L yet. But this is our plan so far. What about the y coordinate? Um, so this time we go to the y axis from this point uh, here. This is what I need to know where I am here. We can start from point A again because at this point on the y axis we know that we are at 4. So here we are at 4, and how can we get from here to here? Well, we can just walk this way this time, which is the short side of my rectangle. We don't know yet how long this side is, but let's give it a name, just call it S for short. And we get from here to here by taking the 4 and adding the length of the short side, so plus s, so that my y coordinate is going to be 4 plus s. So if we know l and s, we can find the coordinates of our point c. Let's try and find l and s. We haven't used our point b yet. So maybe now it's time to do that. Um, I mean, here we also have an x coordinate. Let's start with this. So if we go down here to the x axis, we know that we are at 11 at this point. If we compare it with our point A, where we were at 3, we know that, okay, here we are still at 3. So from here to here, it is eight steps. How can I get from here to here using my rectangles? I can start at this point and walk the long side of the rectangle. Then from this point, I can jump here and walk the long side of the rectangle, but then I'm too far. I would be here then. I don't want to be here. I want to be here at the 11. But okay, I could just subtract this part here again, which is the short side of my rectangle. So what did I walk? 
I took the long side, so L, plus the long side, which was too much. <laughs> and then I wanted to subtract S again to really get to this point. So let's subtract S. And then we know that we walked how far? Eight steps. So this has to be eight. This is a first equation. We will need a second equation because we have two variables. But the good thing is we also have our y coordinates. So we know that here at this point we are at 4. At the point B up here we are at 20. So in total we walk 16 steps this time. Let's walk. We start from here. Take the short side. We take the long side and then we take the long side again and we get to the point where we want it to be, which is perfect. So we have S plus L plus L, which is 16 in total. This is my system of equations and now we only have to solve it. Maybe let's uh, simplify a little bit because we have L plus L, which is 2L here. And here we have L plus L again, which is 2L again. And we take our system of equations and try to solve it. Um, there are several ways now how you can do it. Uh, if we take a look at it, we have 2L here, we have 2L here. So one way could be to just subtract the equations because 2L minus 2L, this would cancel out. But if you also take a look, we have minus S here and a positive S here. So if you wanted, you could also just add the two equations and minus S plus S, then they would cancel each other out. You can choose whatever you prefer. Let's take plus, uh, then usually we make less mistakes with this. So we have, let's start with the L's. 2L plus 2L equals 4L. Negative S plus positive S, we just figured out that this cancels out. And on the other side, we have 8 plus 16, which equals 24. A simple equation here. If we want to solve for L, we have to get rid of the 4 here. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 4. This cancels out and we know that our L is 24 over 4 equals 6. The long side of our rectangle is of length 6. But we also need the short side. So let's take the L and insert it here into the second equation so that we have S plus 2 times. Instead of my L, I now know that it is 6. So I put in the 6 here. And this is equal to 16. We want to solve for S. 2 times 6 equals 12. And to solve for S, let's get rid of the 12 here by subtracting 12 on both sides of the equation. Then we have S here. This cancels out. And on the other side, 16 minus 12 equals 4. So the length of the short side is 4. Let's go back to our C coordinate and we can calculate the coordinates now. 3 plus 6 equals 9 and 4 plus 4 equals 8 and we solved this problem. I'm curious how you solved this problem so please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!